Well, hello. It's day 26. This is actually the second recording I've done for day 26. I did one early in the morning where I said, Bleh, another Monday where I don't do anything. I woke up a little bit too early, and it wasn't a good wake up. So I did my morning chores and went back to sleep and decided, scrap that video. Later on in the day, I'll make one. And then I almost forgot. I actually went on giveit100.com, and I went, what? I didn't do a morning video? How can that be? <laughs> So I did something. But I wanted to, to say today, um, I've been watching another person's video uh, on, on uh, the, the YouTube and also Give It 100. And uh, she's a life coach, as near as I can tell. And uh, she tours all over the world. And, and uh, she said something interesting that uh, struck with me about the three-day rule. Now, she uses it for fitness. Uh, say you're going to go to the gym every day, but if you don't go to the gym every day, at least go every third day. You give yourself a day now and then and sometimes two days now and then, but don't give it a habit. Don't don't stretch it to three days. And um, I kind of like that idea because it gives me a, a guilt-free card for the two days that I don't do something. And then I don't have to feel guilty the third day I don't do something. <laughs> so I, I'm extremely abusing her concept, but uh, in, in seriousness, I try not to go three days without doing anything uh, towards my project. Let me let me qualify that. I do something every day. Don't forget, you're watching this about my new job project. It's day 26, orange shirt blog, my job shirts project. And I've gone 26 days without doing a lot, but I do do things. I have a job and I make an income and I uh, my business supports itself. It just doesn't quite make enough to support me. <laughs> um, and so uh, I have to replace that income. And that's the job that I need to get. And realistically, if I was a strong, motivated go-getter, I would just make my business a little bit better. I've got three months to do it in and make a little bit more money. You know, 200 bucks a week um, or 1000 bucks a month. Um, and then I'll be back on track and confident and say, hey, I've, I've had my own business for over 20 years. I haven't had to look for help. But um, the truth is, I, I I don't know, I kind of would like, I'm thinking about change in a positive way. I'm just thinking about making that change in a negative way. <laughs> I want to change. I just don't want to do put the effort into change. So far, life has come at me, and that's pretty much my philosophy. Uh, everything that I do is a reaction to something else. Uh, somebody phones, somebody emails, somebody knocks on the door, somebody says, hey, Jeff, here's a job for you. So I've been, if you call it that, lucky. Uh, karma lucky, perhaps. Um, and when I, when, I, um, when I actually have to get down and work and create a resume and call people, it's just so terrifying that my brain tends to turn it off and sit and watch TV or I have an expression, oh look a Zeppelin, and my brain sort of changes the topic. I learned that during my years of, of depression on medication, I had to change the topic or I would spiral. And I haven't had that problem in a long time. But now that that habit of changing the topic away from negative things is working against me because it means I'm changing the topic away from the things that I have to do. And so far, I have money, I'm, I'm, I'm eating, I'm paying the rent, it's not a concern. But unfortunately, when it stops, it stops abruptly. I don't really have um, a buffer right now. So I say that a lot, and I've probably even said it into the camera in the last 26 days. Um, but I'm reaffirming it in my head. And this three-day rule I like, I'm, I'm kind of trying to stick to that, that if I do nothing, I shouldn't feel too bad about it. But if I do nothing three days in a row, I should feel bad about it because I shouldn't be doing nothing three days in a row. Now, today uh, was a Monday, and except for the bad start, I got a lot of uh, work done. I actually may have gotten a, a two or $3,000 contract, which is nice, and I did my invoicing for February, which was um, uh, February's the second smallest of my quarterlies. Um, uh, and the next month, unfortunately, is the smallest. If, uh, January was the big month, so um, anyway, I, I did that. They'll go out tomorrow because it was a storm here in Ontario today. And uh, tomorrow, I'm also at my office gig downtown, so I'm out already. 
And while I'm there, I might check out, oh, who knows? I'm not going to make any promises. <laughs> I might work hard in the morning, have lunch, come home, and nap some more. Um, I can be a hard worker. I just need somebody else to tell me what to do. And that's why I think I'd be a good employee, just in case you happen to be watching this as a future employer. I guess that's one of the problems with the Internet. It's out there. Employers want to look it up. You know, I do know a lot of employers look on Facebook. And if I'm applying for technical, ooh, that's a plus. If I'm applying to be the technical support person, then my boss probably doesn't know enough to look it up. <laughs> um, which is a good thing. So um, on Sunday, I walked around a mall. I think I told you that yesterday. Um, and I, I decided kind of retail is not for me. So the help desk, the front desk position seems to be the right fit. Seems to be that um, it, I can sit down for a lot of it. Uh, I can make people smile. I can solve their problems. I can answer them. And most of the work will come to me. I probably won't have to, um, to, to think. Uh, I don't know where. Topic change. Oh, look, a Zeppelin. Um, anyhow. Uh, happy Monday, and um, it was an okay day for me after the false start, cold weather. It's now 4 o'clock. I'm glad I remembered to save this because I would have been upset tomorrow if I'd gone online and went, oh yeah, I didn't save a video yesterday. Um, so thanks for watching me, following my journey. It's starting to get down. You know, the first month is up. The second month is where I actually have to start doing something. Somebody else on Give It 100 is... Uh, they're give it 100. I'm looking to stop fucking around. And I almost never swear, but that's what she said. So that's what she said. Um, and her videos are pretty much her fucking around. <laughs> or saying, ah, oh, I went out and partied last night. But tomorrow. Anyway, it's. I kind of feel like my project for 100 days has been more making people smile in 10 second videos than it has been an actual project. But 100 days, that's that's forever. I got uh, I got night is I got 60 left. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. My name's Jeff Goble, frogstar.tv.